All right. Hello, everybody. We are here at Cordoba Wrestling. That's what it's called, right? Cordoba Wrestling. Um, are you usually training here or are you usually at the Fairlawn Muay Thai? I know you kind of go back and forth. Yeah, no, I train here uh, every Wednesday and then I'm at NK Muay Thai and then also Silver Fox BJJ. So I'm running around all the gyms all week. And it's kind of like a low key gym, right? Compared to maybe other fighters around the country, around the world. What do you think of like the super gym type atmosphere and do you prefer like a setting like this? Yeah, you know, I, I've trained in kind of like smaller gyms like all, my entire career. I feel like it's nice because like everybody you go to like specializes in what they do and I feel like I can learn a lot. Uh, I mean, super gyms I guess are nice if you want to be able to go to one spot and get everything, but I don't know, I don't mind kind of traveling around. All my coaches are great, so I enjoy it. And I actually messed up. I didn't give you a good enough introduction at all. So we're here with Aaron Blanchfield, number two ranked flyweight, um, future title contender, or title contender right now, getting that title shot very soon. Um, what has life been like since August? Um, I know you've been traveling a little bit, training again, looking for that fight, but what's life been like since the last win? Um, yeah, I mean, it's been pretty much like the same. It, it usually is, I'm always training. Um, I mean, I went out to Vegas to watch the Valentina and Grasso, the second the rematch. Uh, that fight was pretty crazy. Then um, yeah, just training again. When I was with Fatima for her fight, she won a title. Um, yeah, so just been doing what I usually do, waiting for, for fight news. <laughs> and that was down in Mississippi with Fatima. Can yeah. you just, how much did you enjoy seeing her get that bell? And what was that experience like, just being in her corner for that week? Yeah, that was awesome. It was the first time I think I was in like a professional corner before and cornered her. Um, you know, I fought with CFC too, so it was really cool to see her win that title. I never got to do that, so it was super cool to see her do that. Um, and I'm super excited for her to get into the UFC soon. And having her on your team and training with her, you guys, great grappling. You just How much of an advantage is that for you guys to just continue to work together and always be next to each other training? Yeah, and I think it's a huge advantage. Um, you know, it's hard to find girls that are very good and that you work well with. Um, so it's a huge advantage having someone that talented. And... How long do you think until maybe she's getting her chance for the UFC? Because I know you definitely think she deserves it. Yeah, I feel like it could be like any day. You can get a call today for next week. Um, you never know because uh, you always get, in, like I got in short notice, uh, just take a fight on like a couple days and that's how it happens. So you never really know. It could be tomorrow, next week, like, yeah. And your short notice fight was at 135, right? It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I took a short notice at 135 to get in. It ended up not happening because uh, my opponent missed weight and the commission pulled it. Um, but then I signed a contract with the UFC anyway and was able to get a fight at my own weight class. How did you like the whole Singapore experience and, yeah, just how did you like Singapore? That was actually really cool. I, I went out like two weeks early just to like acclimatize and get used to everything. Um, so I was training the first week um, at Evolve and just like kind of almost being like a tourist too. So that was really nice. Um, and the, the crowd was awesome. They were such, they loved the fights. They were like cheering on everybody. I don't think I heard them boo anyone. Um, they were huge fight fans, and actually, I really enjoyed it. Did you, um, sorry, did you, uh, on to the fight now, Talia, how did you feel you performed? It was a close one. Did you know that she was getting tired at any point in that fight? Because in the third round, you could tell that the gas tanks were completely different, and you were marching forward, and she was starting to slow down. Yeah, I could tell, um, especially, like, towards the middle of the third, because, like, in the beginning of the third, I could see she came out knowing, like, she needed to get, like, a knockout, or that was it or she was losing. Um, so I could tell she kind of came out with some, with some umph in the third, but then she kind of died out pretty quick and I could feel that. And then I kind of felt more comfortable um, using my strikes. And I, I feel like I hit her with a couple good ones at the very end. I almost wish I broke a little bit sooner so I could have maybe finished it. Yeah, that was an amazing fight. Um, a lot of people, some people, I guess, disagreed with the decision. What'd you kind of think of that reaction if you saw any of that? Uh, I don't think that was a bad decision at all. I mean, I've rewatched the fight. If, I'd be honest if I thought I lost. I didn't feel like I lost. I mean, she's very good, and it was a tough fight. And uh, she had her moments, and I had mine. But I felt like I definitely dominated uh, with getting on top in the second round and then with my strikes and with my wrestling, I think I dominated. I agree. I scored it for you as well. Um, now on to the Grosso-Shevchenko thing. What did you think of that fight? And is it annoying to you at all that that kind of saga is still going now that you've kind of, you know, you've earned a title shot compared to some other people who, get easier past the title and now you're kind of going through a gauntlet is that yeah. annoying to you at all um you know I mean obviously like when you're I was literally there watching it so hearing like a split draw I'm like, like what the hell um 
But I mean, I'm 24 and I feel like I'm gaining so much experience and getting better in these fights that even though I'm going through a gauntlet, by the time I'm, I am like a champ, I'll be a champ because I've went through those hard fights. Um, so, so yeah, I feel like it's, it'll be good for me in the, in the end. Completely agree. And like the whole community knows about your wrestling and grappling, but your striking is very underrated. And you've been, we talked about it last time at Montclair. Um, I was mentioning how you went through McCann, Andraj, Talia, great strikers, uh, Maverick, and your striking is just continuing to have to evolve. Can you just talk a little bit about that and how much uh, improvement you're seeing with that? Yeah, I feel like I'm always trying to um, like evolve in my striking and everything. Obviously, my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling is good. I feel like for my height, I need to keep working on my striking, getting in. Um, you know, Talia was, I feel like that was a great test too. I feel like the first round, she definitely edged me out a little bit, but I found my rhythm and, and I found uh, what I needed to do. Um, so yeah, I'm always getting better at it. I mean, I know everyone ahead of me is a striker, so I'm gonna have to keep getting better. In an, in an ideal world, when would you like to be back in the Octagon? You fought in August, it's been a few months away now. I know there's uh, rumors for an Atlantic City card at some point next yeah. year. Are you interested in that, if possible? That would be awesome. I think, I mean, I, I, it's only rumors, I think, but I think it was in March they'll have like a Atlantic City card. That would be awesome. I'd love to be on that. Um, even headlining that would be, would be really awesome. That would be amazing. I would try and be there. Um, if not March, you want to get back in there like soon though, if not Atlantic City though, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel like February, March is probably a good um, like time frame for me right now. Um, just so I can get an opponent and have like a full camp. Um, yeah, see where it goes from okay. there. Um, all right, we're at the end. Few like quick ones. Um, if you could fight anyone ever, who would it be and why? Any weight class, any, any person? Yeah. Um, you know, I feel like I've, I wanted to fight Misha Tate when she came back to UFC, like at 125. I know she went back up again, but when she came back, I thought that'd be really cool because I remember watching her when I was like 12 um, against Rousey. So, yeah, I think if I could fight anyone, I'd fight her. I was watching those two back in the day. Um, what did you think of her fight the other night? Did you see any of it? I did. I watched it. She did. She did really great. I feel like she looked better um, last Saturday than she has since she's come back. Um, yeah, I think she did great. There's been some rumors about her maybe fighting home at UFC 300. They fought at 200 on the yellow canvas. Do you think that's a good idea just to run that back and kind of for the fans? I think that would be awesome. I feel like they're both kind of in a spot where it's like there's nothing like necessarily next for them, so they could kind of set up like almost like a super fight, like get them to get that rematch back. Um, yeah, I think that'd be awesome to watch. Yeah. I'd definitely. That'd be cool. Okay, so you fought at MSG, Vegas, Singapore. You've been kind of everywhere now. Yeah. Do you have any other locations that would be maybe like a dream destination to fight at? Yeah, I'd love to fight in New Jersey, obviously, um, like the Atlantic City car we were talking about. Um, and maybe like Texas. I've never fought there. I think that'd be cool. Okay. Um, this one's kind of a funny one. If there was a karaoke battle among all UFC fighters instead of fighting, what, uh, what would be your song to perform? Ooh, what would be my song? Or like a maybe a band or artist? Um, maybe he, uh, what, he cheats, but who, who sings that? You know, I don't think I maybe, know that one. Uh, well, maybe that one, Can if anyone could. Could you look it up for us, Matt? He, <laughs> he cheats? If he cheats, like, <laughs> cheats, something like that. Hmm. I forgot. Kelly Clarkson? Is it Kelly Clarkson? Kelly Clarkson? Yeah, yeah. What other, follow-up question, what other are your favorite musical artists? What genre, what do you, what do you like to listen to? I feel like when I'm training or something, I love Post Malone. I like Ice Spice. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I've been listening to a lot of them lately. Okay. Yeah. I love I love Posty. I don't know about Ice Spice. I mean, she's she's cool, yeah, but yeah. Uh, any luck with it, Matt? He cheats. I think before he cheats. Before oh. he cheats. Yeah, yeah. Before he cheats. I was like, it took me a second. Who's that bad? Who's that by? That's, uh, I think it's Kelly Clarkson. Oh, okay. Her Her oh yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, that's cool. <clears throat> um, go to breakfast sandwich. Ooh, breakfast sandwich. You know, it's kind of funny. I hate eggs, so okay. I don't eat anything with like eggs. I'm more like a pancake person. Okay. Yeah. So what about like a go-to like breakfast? I don't know. Uh, I like pancakes and like bacon stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Favorite topping for pancakes? Oh, chocolate chips. Yeah, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips yeah. What's your favorite like New Jersey style or New York style like food culturally? Uh, probably pizza. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a good one. Has to be. All right. Lastly, go to meal after a weight cut or fight. Is there anything that you really prefer to eat? 
Uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm like a foodie, so I love like looking up different restaurants and stuff that are like wherever, like how I was in Singapore when I'm in Vegas, or if I was here, um, like in New York. Um, so I like look up different places and whatever I'm feeling that night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it as always. Look forward to all the success you're going to be watching. Um, yeah, just thank you so much.